All right, last application problem. Example six says the total revenue function for French door refrigerators is given by R equals, and the total cost function for the same product is given by C equals, where C is measured in dollars. For both functions, the input X is the number of refrigerators produced and sold. So we need to form a profit function. In our last example, we were given that profit function. We were just told P of X equals, but this time, I am told what my revenue equals and what my cost equals, and we can use that to find our profit. So profit equals my revenue minus my cost. Now we've done this before. We have to remember when we are subtracting our costs, we are subtracting the entire function. We need to put that in parentheses. So we will have P of X equals, my revenue is 550X minus the entire function of my cost, which is 10,000 plus 30X plus x squared. So distribute in that negative. We have p of x equals 550x minus 10,000 minus 30x minus x squared. So my final answer to get my P of X is to combine like terms. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in descending order as well. So X squared is gonna come first. So we get negative X squared, 550X minus 30X is gonna give me plus 520, oops. 520X and then minus, Ten thousand. There is my profit function. So B and C are just substitution. What is the profit when 18 refrigerators are produced and when 32 are produced? So this is representing my X. So I'll first find P of X, or sorry, P of 18, since X is 18. And plug in an 18 for both of these X's here. So negative on the outside, 18 squared plus 520 times 18 minus 10,000. Man, I really smudged that real quick. Okay, and man, I cannot get my sign straight. So that's supposed to be a plus. Okay. So negative 18 squared plus 520, 18 minus 10,000. So we get a negative 964. Uh, and we're talking about money. So negative 964. If we only sell 18 refrigerators, and does it say, it doesn't really say what these are for. So I don't know if these are the revenue and cost functions per week, per month, per year. Not sure what that is, but if we only sell 18 refrigerators, we're gonna be losing almost $1,000. So let's see what happens if I sell 32. So if you don't need to write this out, you don't need to. I'm going to do it just in case you want it. Again, talking about money. <clears throat> So I'm gonna go up and highlight the correct one with the plus and change these 18s 
oops, change both of them to 32. And we get 5,616. Now we are making a profit with 32. Now part D wants to know how many refrigerators must be sold to again break even. Now with break even, we can find this two different ways. Okay, depending on how the information is given to us. <clears throat> the first way to break even is when your revenue equals the cost. So how much you are bringing into your business equals the same amount that you are putting in. Or we can do what we did last time where we said that profit equals zero. Now, because I already have my profit function, this is going to be the easiest method to use. So now I'm going to put a zero in for this P of X. So I have zero equals negative X squared plus 520X minus 10,000. And now we need to solve. So it's in standard form. So I can go ahead and use my quadratic formula. <clears throat> it's okay that this A is negative because we are using quadratic formula. If we're factoring, we would want to fix that, but this is okay. So we have A equals negative 1, B equals 520, and C equals negative 10,000. If I write my formula, we have x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I have my formula and I have what everything equals substituted in. So negative b is negative 520 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four times a, which is negative one, times c, which is negative 10,000, <clears> all over two times negative one. So we get negative 520 plus or minus, let's see what goes under that radical, this will be all divided by negative two. <clears throat> Two hundred and thirty thousand four hundred. Let's just see by some chance that is a perfect square, and it is that is four eighty. So this is negative five twenty plus or minus four eighty. Notice it's not square root four eighty; it's just four eighty all over negative two. So what are my two answers? We've got negative 520 plus 480 divided by two. And we have negative 520 minus 480 all divided by negative two. I'm just gonna use my N over D here. So alpha Y equals We've got negative 520 plus 480 over negative 2. So we have 20, and we are talking about x is the number of refrigerators. So 20 fridges. And then let's change that to a minus or 500 fridges will get us to break even. Anything in between, we are making money. Less than 20, we're losing. And even more than 500, we're also losing. 